morning, everyone. On behalf of the HES Consortium Board of Directors, I would like to welcome you to our 2024 Best Practices Showcase to celebrate technology, innovation for Hispanic success in higher education. My name is Julianis Vasquez, and I will be presenting the speaker for the current session of this room. Before we begin, uh, we request for your support with the following. Please change your mobile phone to silent mode to have your full attention and avoid interruptions. This session is being recorded. This presentation will be in English. And finally, our staff uh, will pass a QR code to all the participants to complete your electronic evaluation for this session before you leave the room. You can also find the QR code on your name badge for your feedback and recommendation. Please uh, fill out the form. Now we're ready to start. This current session is under the track online learning. The title of the presentation is Digital Entrepreneurship from Puerto Rico to the World. Please welcome our speaker, Leticia Pagan, from the University of Puerto Rico. Good evening. Afternoon or morning here, we don't have uh, these differences in time. Culturally, we have the day at all. So, yeah, good day, good day, good day, the best. So, I'm um, Dr. Leticia Pagan, I teach at the Polytechnic University of Puerto Rico uh, for the past 20 years. I've been teaching in other universities in Puerto Rico as well as in Massachusetts. <coughs> I lived there for a while, nine, nine years. Uh, since I came to the Polytechnic, I teach in the Master of Business Administration program. We have management programs uh, for engineering management and environmental management. So I teach engineers, environmentalists, and management professionals. Since I came here, I was assigned to teach a course to develop entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship for entrepreneurs that not need to be from a business background. My students always show that this is a concern because this is the last class of the master program. So they need to pass the class so they get the degree. But at the same time, most of the time I've been working with students that are involved in technology in IT. So throughout these 20 past years, the development of technology has been increasing and changing the way people do business. So throughout these 20 out of 40 years of experience teaching in technology, I've been learning how to work <coughs> in the development of entrepreneurship initiative, but while everything is changing. Because in the beginning we call this um, e business, and then we move to e-commerce, and then we move to mobile commerce, and we have e-payments, and everything is going to be without the e. Because everything is technology and digital. That's why the concept of digital entrepreneurship came. It's a recent term. Previously, they used to call this technology entrepreneurship. I also, in 12, 14 presented in this same Congress a presentation talking about mobile commerce. Mobile commerce has been a big change since the past 10 years. So we have everything moving around because the devices are moving around. In, in my presentation, I will be talking about different <coughs> environments we find out now in the business arena. So we have a new type of initiative towards creating a new business and also we would have different environments to work Businesses. In terms of the global perspective of my presentation, what I would like to tell this community is that we do not have a space geographically where we build a business. We can build it in the cloud and we can serve different communities 
around the world. Doesn't need to be a big city, maybe it can be a village. But the entrepreneurial perspective that any of my students would have, let's say those who are from environmental, the master in environmental management, they develop the design of a, an environment, a, 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 a home that doesn't need to have electricity from any organization or water. They design a house with all these technologies for their customers so they would have a, an environmental nice house, I would say. In the case of those who are in business, they are more familiar with doing business in, in, in the web or on the cloud. But those who are from engineering, depend on the type of engineering that they are studying, they would prepare different kind of businesses that focus on the ideas to generate any kind of income, revenues. Most of them, those who are from engineering, they build things, they have ideas. Those who are in the area of industrial engineering, they also help companies to, pro, to, re, to, to develop processes that will help in the productivity and the quality of the business. In the case of uh, geography, I would say we in Puerto Rico think that we have uh, limitations in terms of where we are located. But we are located in any place in the world when we are talking about the internet. You don't need to be in any place to do businesses or develop in, in, an entrepreneurship initiative. If you look at the biggest company in e-commerce in, in China, which is, uh, what is the big, biggest company in China? E-commerce, sorry, Alibaba. Alibaba. Okay. So we find that this uh, entrepreneur, he developed a company to help leaders, business people in different places around, around his country, and those people were able to develop small businesses in a little island, in a little village, or in a big community. So when, when this uh, English prof teacher, because he was an English, English teacher, developed this company, no one would think that it would be the biggest company in the world. So he worked step by step to build that company that is today, okay? So when we look at this young woman, young, young man, who is, um, who tried many times to get into the Harvard Business School, um, was in I, more than 10. So, and then being a biggest business entrepreneur, he doesn't, no coding, he doesn't know how to do coding, but he has an entrepreneurship vision toward the future. For, in my, in my students' case, I would like them to see that idea and put that idea in a business perspective using the new technologies that they are finding new now. But in my case, when I began in technology four years ago, teaching courses in coding and basic, well, this was already there. We have phones, we have a messages like the chat, chat that you have, but we were professors. So we were people who were able to be connected with computers. In 1980, I was able to commune communicate with universities around the world using the internet. But it was another arena. Now we are in a pure business arena where people can sell ideas through the internet. The product doesn't have to be physical. You can sell anything. Also, 
with sound, music, content, and products. I would think in the case of e-commerce or retail that you need to try to make this smaller product so you can sell to everybody around the world and use the less cost of transportation because now we have, again, the transportation that they used to have in the 1900s. So in, in, in my class, we would show the students what would be to be in a digital entrepreneur achieve a adventure because this would be an adventure. Digital entrepreneurship is defined as a when when people are creating new ventures and transforming existing businesses in developing novel, novel digital technologies and novel usage of such technology. So that's the idea of Jack, the Chinese entrepreneur that I was telling. It was his idea of creating businesses for a small business. And he was able to provide them everything.